Yo, what's going on, Dream Crew family? It is a gloomy day here in San Diego, California. I'm stuck in a little bit of traffic, as you guys can see right here. But I'm headed to off the bench, of course. Why else would I be in San Diego? We just secured, I think, 200 pairs of the Cool Gray 11. They literally just delivered them, and they are all in the front of the store for... Oh, there goes the camera. Yeah, anyway, let's head to the shop and uh, see what's going down today at Off the Bench San Diego. All right, guys, we're in the shop right now. And as you can see behind me, we have 100 pairs of Cool Gray 11. Dylan, you gonna tell everybody your backdoor plug or no? Uh, I am the plug. Damn, he is the plug. So yeah, we got 100 pairs of the Cool Gray 11s. We're about to put up an Instagram post in a bit. I just got some ICAs in for you guys. More Travis Sixes for you guys. These are hard. Green pair. Yeah, that's green a, pair. That's These the are real one. cool. You know, you got your, your stash pocket right here, you know? Pretty sick. Uh, how about some Travis Warren? Sheesh. Sheesh. Size Warfare. eight and a half? I don't like these, bro. You like these? I like them. I like, I like the quality, but... More unions for you guys. Unions. We keep uh, showing these bubble gums. Somebody come buy these, man. How much How much we selling these for? 325 uh, 399 No, I don't know about that. Are, you guys love mochas. So we got some more mochas for you guys. What sizes are these mochas, man? Um, this is a nine and a half. We have an eight and a half. I have pretty much every size of mocha that I shipped over, as well as UNC one. You know, just some really nice colorways for the yeah. Christmas time. You have a healthy amount of these. The three M. Oh, I brought my pair to sell too. I don't want mine. Sick. These are awesome. I know the three M is kind of whatever, yeah. but it's a blue guy, and this is one of the first. 350 v2 colorways so it was the first. always yeah it was the first so this shoe you know i hold it dear in my heart was, why because you made a lot of money off I, of it i made a lot of money off this thing <laughs> when it first came out so i brought the shack signed shoes in to display at the store and we're gonna wrap it but this is probably the biggest wrap <laughs> that you have to do for this shoe i don't know i just thought it would be cool so far everybody's like super interested in holding that shoe like even customers saw it and they were like what is that and i was like this is shack shoe it's not the one he actually played in but it's signed by him and it's his actual size 22 so i'm gonna be bringing just stuff from my personal collection to display here and there what did we come down here for i completely forgot by the way stock room update the stock room is looking beautiful we got these shelves very oh, organized awesome. what is in that little dungeon right there let's see some people think this room is haunted i don't know all right, we're out of the stock room. Let's go see how these shacks turned out low key. Yeah. All right, so I am currently going through my collection to figure out what shoes I want to put on my top 10 sneakers of 2021 list. When I make this list, I don't speak for the masses, I speak for myself, 10 sneakers that I personally love that I added to my collection this year. So I'm trying to figure that out and I think I'm gonna do something different this year. Aside from just doing my top 10 sneakers of 2021, I think I'm gonna do a sneaker award show and I'm gonna do it live. The first ever live sneaker award show and I want you guys to be a part of it. So I'm gonna have you guys vote for different categories and pick which shoe wins each category. So. I'm probably gonna have a link down below in the description of this video where you can go and vote. I don't know exactly when I'll be doing the live stream. I'll probably figure that out later today, but I'm thinking either this Sunday or sometime early next week before the year ends. Anyway, Mina just made me breakfast, so I'm gonna go eat, but let's go to the office and talk about these cool gray 11s for a little bit more. And also I have five new sneaker pickups I need to show you. So this video is far from over. So we'll see you in a bit. Had to throw on the hoodie. It's getting kind of chilly here in California. Anyway, cool gray 11s. Look, you guys just saw we actually got 100 pairs, not 200 pairs. I love this shoe, man. And I just want to give a word of advice to anybody who basically struck out on these. I know a lot of people want them for the holiday, Christmas gifts and whatnot. So if you need them for that reason, obviously go to my store off the bench if you're in San Diego. We don't have an online store or else I would tell you to go shop on the website. But yeah, stay tuned. We're going to have a website soon. But for the people who are not really in a rush to get the shoe just be patient you know there is a lot of shipping delays with this shoe so there will be a bunch of restocks within the next month or so local stores as well as certain websites you will see these coming back out so just give it time i would say wait about a month or so i don't see this shoe going up in price until maybe about a year from now so even though i own a percent of a resale store that doesn't mean i'm going to tell you to go pay resale every time i'm still going to give you guys my two cents on certain shoes and you know what i think you should wait for and what i think you should go ahead and grab before the price goes up. I'm going to be the most unbiased 
sneaker store owner of all time. And yeah, man, be patient with the shoe unless you really, really need it for a gift or for a certain occasion that you wanna wear them for. By the way, Spider-Man, movie of the year, top three, or top two best Marvel movies of all time. I don't wanna, you know, say any spoilers and whatnot, but the emotional roller coaster of that movie, even though we kinda knew what was gonna happen, it was unbelievable. Like, it was on another level. I still put Endgame as number one, Infinity War and Endgame, I count them as one. I still put those at number one, but Spider-Man is a very close second. Anyway, we're not here to talk about movies. We're here to talk about sneakers. And we got five, five new pairs right here. All right, so two of these are actually Nike by Use, AKA what we know them as, Nike IDs. One of them is another pair of Air Force Ones. One of them is a New Balance. And then another one is a pair of shoes that I never thought in my wildest dreams would ever release. We'll save that one for last, but let's get into the New Balances that I picked up. I was able to hit these on a restock. I think it was on Hibbert, hibbertsports.com. I don't know, somebody posted them on their story. I swiped up and my size was available. So I copped them. I love the 550, it's such a beautiful, classic shoe and orange is my favorite color so this was definitely on my radar i mentioned that i wanted these at the kobe swap meet video and uh, i got lucky because they restocked and uh, i pulled the trigger and i got them for like 110 bucks i think they were i just honestly think new balance has had such a great year them bringing this shoe out of the vault was the best decision that they could ever make for the world of streetwear. Like so many people have been wearing these. They're great, they're comfortable. All right, next up, we got some Air Force Ones. And as you guys can see, not a normal Air Force One. It is a Supreme Air Force One. And it's the newest Air Force One they did, which is the, here's a little preview, the Wheat Supreme Air Force Ones. I did the lace swap, so I put the Wheat Supreme Lace is on there because it looks just so much better. I honestly don't really go crazy for Supreme anymore. I think everybody has kind of, I think the whole Supreme wave has kind of died down because ever since they sold their company, they just have mass produced so much of their inventory and it kind of takes away from the limited aspect that Supreme always had. But I am someone who, if I like something from a brand, regardless if it's hyped or not, I know it's hard to believe that because I am a hype beast, I'll buy it and I just absolutely love of these. I've always been a huge fan of when they do the Wheat Flux Air Forces. I remember when I first moved to LA before I had like the money to buy the collection I have today. I remember one of the first shoes I caught was the High Top Flux Air Forces and I have a photo of myself at LACMA wearing them. I'm inserted right there. I got the little Supreme stamp in the back. You guys know I was all for it. And also, like super dope, man. Even the laces, absolutely beautiful. And get them before the price goes up because I only got these for like 190 and retail was 150, so it's a little over retail plus tax. All right, we do have two more Air Force Ones. These are ones that were made by me on Nike ID because Nike ID has added, or Nike by you, I hate saying that. They give you the option now to do patent leather. They give you the option to have corduroy. But anyway, the inspiration for this shoe was, kind of has some inspiration from one of my holy grails of Air Force Ones, and that is the PlayStation Air Force One. So I kind of had some inspiration from that shoe in this Nike ID. I got these ones right here, and honestly, I don't expect you guys to really, really like these because they are a little weird. But let me tell you guys why I think these are super dope. And I just, they smell so amazing. Literally, this shoe is worth the smell. If you pay for this shoe, which I think it was like 120 or 30 bucks, it's worth the smell, trust me. Patent leather baby blue on the back. Baby blue swoosh, but get this, it's a 3M baby blue swoosh. So they also give you the option to do a 3M swoosh in different colors, which is super dope. Black leather and cream leather on the toe. Cream leather on the midsole to make the baby blue pop more. White laces to match the white bottom. And of course, that cream midsole. I love the age look. It's absolutely beautiful. They also let you do the classic Nike logo on the tongue, which is really cool. And they include this little gold Nike swoosh pendant. And it actually has like a little diamond in it so you can see right there it's got a little bit of a diamond so yeah this is literally if you haven't bought a pair of the nike by you air force ones yet you're sleeping because you're getting a good quality shoe that you get to make yourself. Yeah, this second colorway, there's no real inspiration for this colorway other than I wanted to use corduroy and I really, really like the color green that they had. And again, let me know what you guys think of these shoes. Rate each of these Nike IDs on a, on a scale of one to 10. Do you guys think it's a 10? Do you think it's a three? Do you think it's a zero? Let me know in the comment section. This one kind of has a little bit of a holiday Grinch vibe. It is an all green, a very beautiful green. That shoe we did patent leather and regular leather, but on this shoe we have no patent leather and we have corduroy. So. 
Take a look at these green corduroy along the back and the back tab right there. Green corduroy right here as well. And then I did a leather in that same green color right here and on the mid area. The swoosh, I kept it black because I just wanted it to pop. I didn't really want to do 3M on this one. I just wanted to keep it very simple with the black leather. Got that same color green on the midsole. I really, really love the fact that they let you do these same colors on the midsole. That's usually rare on a Nike by you. So I had to take advantage of that. And then we did the white bottom again. <sighs> yeah, let me know what you guys think of these two Nike by Yous that I designed. Again, there's no real big inspiration for these. A little bit of PlayStation Air Force One inspiration on this one, but let me know which one you guys think are better. Let me know what you rate each of these, one through 10, and let me know if you guys think I did a horrible job. I promise you my feelings will not get hurt. I like them at the end of the day, and that's all that matters. All right, last and definitely not least. This is a shoe that at one time was the most hyped of hyped sneakers in the sneaker game. And it wasn't even a shoe that released. This was only a sample that we never thought would come out until now because Nike and LeBron, they're just bringing out so many classic sneakers that we as sneaker collectors dreamt of having. The LeBron Watch the Throne 9s. I like literally, even though I have this shoe in my possession, literally even though I put this shoe on, I still can't believe that they actually came out with this shoe. But yeah, man, it's just, there was a golden era of Nike basketball that I'll always love and appreciate and I'm just so freaking happy that they finally came out with one of my Nike basketball grails. Now one thing I need to do in that corner right there I have five of my favorite basketball players of all time and I have one of their shoes right next to their photo so that LeBron right there with the South Beach it will be replaced with the watch to throw nine. There it goes. By the way, this is in no particular order. LeBron is not number one. For me personally, my goats are Jordan, Kobe, and Curry. But I think LeBron is still one of the greatest players of all time. But for me personally, my top three are right here in the middle. And the reason why I put them in the middle is because when I'm filming, usually you only see these three and that one's cut off. So I don't worry about it too much. And sometimes you see my guy D-Wade. And by the way, one of the most underrated signature sneakers of all time. Shout out to Converse. Please bring these back. That's it. I appreciate y'all tuning in. I'll see you guys on the next one and I'm out of here. Peace. Peace.